Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Are you considering a move from WooCommerce to Shopify in 2023? This tutorial will guide you through the process of connecting WooCommerce to Shopify, ensuring a smooth transition and minimal distributions to your online store. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, talking about connecting Shopify, which is a store, to WooCommerce, which is also a store, is pretty weird. Why and how is it even possible to connect two stores of two different platforms, which they both do the same thing, the same features, the same ability, why would us even try to do so? Well, there is so many benefits that you can have through that. One of them is there is so many plugins that you will find on WooCommerce that are not for free. On the other hand, Shopify, most of the apps that they provide are totally cheap or free. Now, let's try to go to WooCommerce real quick and let's see like a little brief of their pricing. So let's go here and let's go to extensions and let's click on here so here we go and now let me just go for example to anything that might be uh, as an extension so here this one is free but this one is around 99 dollar per year so sometimes you will find some free version of apps on WooCommerce that you might find on Shopify on the, other on the other hand for free. There is so many less and different kind of plugins that you might find on these two apps. So here, if I click on Shopify and I want to all recommended apps and I want here to the Shopify App Store and right from here, I went to the App Store Marketplace. I will find all of these apps or plugins that I can add to my website with a free fees and there is also some kind of apps that they will give you a free trial which is pretty insane because this free trial doesn't exist on WooCommerce you either pay or leave so as an example here let us search for Seller Cloud on WooCommerce so here we go Seller Cloud and as you can see it doesn't even exist so there is a bunch of options that you might find on Shopify that are better than WooCommerce. Then why shouldn't we exactly go from Shopify to Shopify directly? Why should we swap and go from WooCommerce into Shopify and connect these two together? Well, each one of these two applications has their own uh, abilities and features. That's why I'm doing this video to show you how to connect both of them because WooCommerce is going to help you grow your store and make it look better but Shopify will help you make it more functional and add more features into it so combining these two is gonna make your store look very very potentially good and make others really be into it and memorize it so to actually connect these two apps simply just have to head up to Shopify or WooCommerce, I will show you both ways and click on our recommended apps and then from here click on Shopify App Store by clicking on it simply it, this page will be opened search for WooCommerce here we go and you will find some kind of WooCommerce apps right in here there is this Apple Store WooCommerce Importer which will help you make great products orders and customers from WooCommerce. This is a very good one that will help you have all the products that you own and orders and customers in WooCommerce and translate them to your Shopify store. There is also cart to cart WooCommerce Imports which will automatically uh, migrate WooCommerce data to the new store which is your your Shopify store. So each one of these apps will actually help you a lot just by clicking for example on one and then install it right through this button and there you go. So now, as you can see, connecting the same WooCommerce with Shopify is of course impossible, but having an extension that will be an intermediate between these two is very, very possible. So here I can click on Instant Now, 
and it will be integrated since I have uh, this application connected to my WooCommerce uh, store. On the other hand, if I want to WooCommerce a website and search for Shopify, so here we go, we'll have Shopify connected for WooCommerce. You will be doing the same things, but in reverse. You will be able to import products, customers, and orders with all new and updated Shopify connector for WooCommerce. So everything that you have on your Shopify store, it will be directed to your WooCommerce store. So it is like the reverse of this app that we have just downloaded on our Shopify website. Now, there is another app that you can use, which is Zapier. So it is a very interesting app that can help you a lot, especially connecting to apps. So by clicking and connecting to your account, you can simply head up to the create a Zap. And from here, you can literally make it do whatever you want from two different apps or even more than one app. Just as an example here, I'm going to choose and search for WooCommerce. Let me just add another M. Well, let me just, here it is. So now you just have to connect your account and then search at the same time for Shopify and then connect to your account on Shopify. And just like that, your two apps, which are, which are uh, WooCommerce and Shopify, are going to be connected together in this Zapier. Now we gotta give him a task, an automation. For example, once an app or once one of WooCommerce or Shopify account got updated, update the other one as well. So once we update something on our WooCommerce shop or store or our Shopify store, we should update the other one as well at the same time. And let's see if it's going to give us a good, uh, meaningful uh, thing that will help us. So here, synchronize orders between WooCommerce and Shopify. So step one, order WooCommerce, update product Shopify, send outbound email, update order and the same thing would be in reverse so it will be three apps in one thing or four steps in here as you can see order in WooCommerce update product in Shopify send outbound email in email by Zapier and then update order in WooCommerce which is a pretty insane tool to use for integrating both apps as you like and yeah this is specifically it and this is basically it i hope you like this video guys i showed you how to connect woocommerce with shopify even though it is pretty much impossible but i showed you several ways to actually make them connect together and integrate with one and another i hope you guys have the full information if you do have more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial